The community of Kotao worked hard to make this project happen. And Hidden Phi has become an example for other communities around the world and in Thailand to start taking responsibility for their reefs, to start making a positive impact, instead of waiting for governments or other people to do it for them. Everybody that worked on this project had a great time, and it is something that we are all excited to watch develop over the next few years. After the monsoon season, we returned to the site to see how it has been progressing over the last five months. Already there are many diverse species of fish and other organisms living on and around the structures. This is the underwater transport. It is the first of its kind and saves us energy and cost compared with existing bio-rock sites. As electricity flows from the transformer out to the structures, bubbles of hydrogen gas are released from the water, and this causes minerals to fall out of the water and collect onto the structures. You can see that it is working because of the little bubbles coming off of the structure. It took us a few months to get approval to transplant corals onto the site, so it is not that full of the corals yet. But we can see how healthy the corals that are on it are, and how much they have grown up around the structure. Generally, corals grow about 1 to 3 centimeters per year, but we can see more than that in the last few months as the corals are beginning to attach around the metal. After a few more years of growth, the structures will be completely covered in corals, surrounded by fish, and ideally become a completely functioning coral reef.
These days we are surrounded by negativity, as people are starting to realize the impacts that we are having on the environment, and also the consequences of those impacts on our health, the climate, and also the economy. But most of the knowledge that we need to solve the world's problem is already available to us. One by one we can educate ourselves and each other to realize the truth that our health is completely dependent upon that of the Earth's. Once that truth is realized, conservation will become an intrinsic value instead of just a good idea.